Hi, it's Andy at Martin Atkinson Specialist Vans here. Today we're going to take you around this 2018 Volkswagen Transporter Shuttle that has had a uh, full camper conversion, professionally done. We supplied it to the camper converter well, nearly a year ago. They've converted it, used it themselves, and now it's come back to us. So we got a really good spec to start off with. We've done a full styling pack on this one. It's got the Sportline front and rear spoilers, full gloss black pack. It's in really good order. Now, given that it's done 46,000 miles, there is the odd stone chip that's been touched in, a little mark that's been touched in, to be expected. But as you can see, it's lovely and straight down the sides. Deep black pearl paintwork. Shines really well and looks in good order all round. We've got 20 inch Velay gloss black alloy wheels. It's had two new tyres on the front and the converter also upgraded to the larger calipers and some drilled and grooved discs. It's got the angular sidebars. Full gloss black surrounds up here on the wing mirrors. And being a shuttle, it's glass all the way down, factory glass, so no having to cut. It's a perfect base as a camper, really, and full privacy tint on those. Now inside the vehicle, kept the three seats up front, but put a Kiravan swivel base on the double. So this particular one here does swivel to face rear. Two-tone custom leather, perforations and contrast stitch. This one's also got the genuine VW accessory Kenwood nav unit with DAB, Apple CarPlay, reverse camera attached to it. Now, one of the biggest things about this particular van and what sets it apart from many panel van conversions is the three zone climate. I'll show you in the back shortly how that's been rerouted. It's also got factory front and rear park sensors, cruise control, and a VW flat bottom R steering wheel. DSG, of course. It's a 150 engine, has had a remap to 180. It drives superbly. Now in the back, we're really, really pleased with this conversion. Nice wood effect, block on the top and the table. And then you've got the uh, linear grain effect on the units. Rock and roll bed, which fully extends there. Two belted seats, so can carry five people. We've got an Ultra Sparkle Safety Floor and Ply there. And there's the double swivel base. Here also is the outlet for the diesel night heater. So this is fully equipped, ready to camp, even in the, the winter weather with a Planar diesel night heater attached here. We've got your Dometic Simp and Hob units. Just move those up, see those. Three pin socket, 12 volt, also a voltmeter there. Now this is the three zone climate panel. So you do still get three zone climate coming out here in the back. Now that's not to be underestimated because as uh, you may, well, you will know if you've been camping before in the summer, you get a really hot day. It can be like an oven in the back here. So having that is a huge benefit and something that panel vans cannot give you. The table here just lifts off, leg folds up and that stores away. It's a little side panel for it. And a little access panel down there too. We got some storage over there. Now it is a bit dark up there, but I'll just try and show you. So you've got your upstairs bed area up here with the elevating board. And we have got an infill panel that goes just here. So when you're up there, you can put the infill panel in, roll your mattress over and it extends so you can use the full length. I'll just go around the vehicle here as well so you can see how nice it is.
At the back, being debadged, apart from the VW Contrast matte badge. Oh, sorry, it's a gloss badge on that one. Um, yep, got smoked, lights and lenses, shaped rear plate and carbon fibre effect rear bumper protector. Got the rear park sensors there too, and the camera. Now in the rear, because the company that converted it and used it themselves, uh, they actually do competitive mountain biking. So they created a small garage area in the back. Now, if I show you from this angle, there is actually quite a bit of space. You can get bikes, suitcases, whatever there. We've got little hooks to tie down onto, little clip there. They were things I assume they used for the bikes. Another little ratchet strap there. Got the awning leg and the winder for winding the awning out as well. So a lovely finish in there. And as you can see, it's got the full length awning there. They're not a cheap bit of kit. And again, nice for a bit of cover from the sun or the rain. And just take a look down there. No dents whatsoever. Lovely uniform finish. Down here, we've got a hose outlet. They've used this for washing off the bikes after racing. And if I just quickly scoot under here, you'll see there's the electric hookup point, nicely hidden away. And round this side is the water tanks. So just taking a step back, you can see side profile of the vehicle sits really nicely on those Volkswagen lowering springs. It's been lowered 30 mil, genuine Volkswagen springs. Screen's clear from any major chips. Just a little touch in, it's been done there on the wing mirror. And this down here on the floor is the intake for the diesel night heater. So it takes in the warm air from in the cab rather than cold from outside and hence works more efficiently and quickly. Mileage today, 46,984. Just had a full service. Got a full service history for this vehicle. It's had four services, had its DSG service done. So fully up to date, fresh MOT2. As you can see, a real, real high spec conversion. To do this sort of conversion, probably 15 to 20,000 pounds, I'd suggest when you factor in everything that's done. Then you've got the styling on top and then the vehicle itself. So it's one of those where really you would struggle to buy the base vehicle and do everything that's been done to this for less money. That's got the opening bit just there. We can unzip it and let some light in. Now we've got loads and loads of photos on Autotrader and on the website. Full written description, just going through all the spec. We do take part exchange and we can offer competitive finance facilities. So if you're interested, please do get in touch and uh, see what we can do for you. Thanks for watching.